Well, bonjour and bienvenue. I'm Michael Mann for Bike Social and welcome to the gloriously ostentatious Monte Carlo. Yep, we're here with Honda uh, because they've brought us out here to test ride these two new scooters. Updated for 2018, we've got the Forza 125 and the 300 version. Now, there's a, uh, an obvious difference in, in cu cubic capacity, uh, but in price, not a huge range. We've got uh, the 125 is uh, 4689 versus 5,100 for the uh, for the 300 cc version. Now upgrades mainly come um, aesthetically, so they've had major design overhauls both models. They've got this brand new, uh, super fast uh, electrically operated screen um, just on the rocker switch on the left hand side of the bar there, zoom, zoom, straight up and down. It's uh, really really decent. Uh, brand new instrument panel for both. Really easy to read, really easy to operate. Again, all through that left-hand side. It's a little bit old-fashioned with the uh, mode A and uh, uh, mode A and mode B uh, switches, but it's really, really simple to use. We've been parading around the south of France from Cannes and uh, Nice all the way to Monte Carlo, um, just to find out what these scooters are like. Uh, they've both got sporty ability, touring ability. Uh, they dart in and out of the traffic perfectly because the you know, dimensionally, they're, while they're quite long and quite prestigious in their build quality but also um, in their ability to get through traffic it's you know it's almost like the ideal uh, town commuter both the 125 and the 300. Uh, obviously noticeable is the 300's extra power it's 25 horsepower as opposed to the 14.7 uh, BHP on, on offer in the 125 version. Both come with an 11.5 litre tank which on the 125 much more frugal It'll give you around about or a claim 300 miles plus uh, whereas you're getting about 210, 215 out of the 300cc version, or 279 to be precise, both four stroke, four valve. What they do offer is um, a great deal of storage capacity as well. You get two full face helmets um, underneath the seats and they've both got little cubby holes uh, in the front dash, sort of in front of that left knee. The mirrors are excellent on these. These are brand new as well, uh, so you can see all around you. Uh, they're, they're really quite clear. Uh, the screen we've already talked about, which is um, which is so easy to up, up and down. When you start touring uh, on the motorways, just flick it up and you get no buffeting, cruising around in the town, especially on a day like today when it's 30 plus degrees, down to its lowest setting, you get a lovely cool breeze. No, they're great for darting around town. They come with optional um, top boxes and there's a little bit of wheel graphics, heated grips if you want them as well. Uh, you can read the full review at bikesocial.co.uk.